I'm Charlotte van den Broek and I'm a Belgian poet living in Flanders, so I'm Dutch speaking, so I write in Dutch. And um, I've written two collections of poetry. Uh, my debut came out in 2015 and it's called Chameleon. And my second collection of poetry uh, is brand new. It came out in January 2017 and it's called Nachtroer, which is the name of a night shop in Antwerp, where I live. Vanana Dalsnukker. Vingertoppen, zuignappen, vooral niet slapen nu. Als je niet gaat slapen nu, dan kunnen we praten nu. Dan zullen we praten hier, boven deze lakens. Over de bleke heuvels aan de andere kant van het water. Over de zoden van het gras waarin we zaten, waarin we nog niet samen zaten. Zomers die we afzonderlijk meemaakten. Het lichter van onze haren en het langer van de dagen hier, boven deze lakens, vooral niet breken nu. Um, I write in Dutch. Um, it's, the, it's one of the two national languages, three, there are three national languages in Belgium. Uh, also a small German speaking area, but uh, it's French and Dutch in Belgium. And uh, it's a relatively small language area, it's about six million speakers. And then, of course, you also speak Dutch in the Netherlands, which is a neighboring country. So it is a relatively small language. Um, but it's my mother tongue and I don't uh, think I could write uh, in another language because you don't have the same sensibilities. I need to perform. I, I feel a, well, an urge to do it because it's, uh, it makes it something collective. Um, it's a, it becomes a collective experience and um, when you're writing it's very solitude. Uh, there's a lot of solitude involved and um, being on stage with the, po with the poems is like a way of uh, making it wider and not just about you or from you, but it can be something that you share. Last October I uh, had the very big honor to open the Frankfurt Book Fair together with Arno Grunberg, my Dutch colleague. And all of a sudden, the perspective got like a lot wider. My grandmother, for example, uh, she owned a bar and uh, she never read or wrote or anything. And she told me when I was a little girl, uh, when you read, you will become smart. So I would read like encyclopedias and stuff and I didn't understand what it was saying because it was too difficult. But I thought, oh, I've read it, so now, so now I'm smarter.